Hey, high performer, it's Heather, your certified high performance coach, here to give you more skills and tools that you can use on your path to success while maintaining your well being and your positive relationships. Today's topic is great recreation therapists are terrible at their recreational time. Just recently, I was connecting with a fellow friend and coach and he asked me, what are my, what are my hobbies? What are my um, things that I like to do in my free time? And I gave him a long list of things that I have just been thoroughly enjoying. I've been loving just creating. I get to use my Cricut machine, which I love, and I get to make so many things. I've been having so much fun playing games and getting outside, just riding my bike and kicking the soccer ball around. However, that was not always the case until I really became more of a high performer and put recreation and hobbies and my interests at a higher priority. I've been a recreation therapist for more than 15 years. And part of my job as a recreation therapist is to help other people to find recreational things that they enjoy doing and teach them about that positive leisure experience. Yet I wasn't doing it for myself. And so as I'm talking to my friend about this long list of things that I really enjoy doing now and make time and space and energy for, I'm realizing that, you know, at large, recreation therapists are the worst at having recreational time. And he countered with, you know, I've noticed that people in other professions as well have a really hard time making time for whatever field that they're in for themselves, but they're really good about encouraging other people to do it. For example, people in the religious world having a hard time putting time and energy aside for their own religious practices. People in the field of mental health, psychologists, social workers, uh, marriage family therapists, a lot of them have a hard time with things like boundaries and habits that are healthy and good for them. And so while this is a broad statement and certainly doesn't apply to every single person, there's a trend that we were noticing that when you get into the field that you're really passionate about, most times you got into that field for a reason. And a lot of times passion was driving the way, but somewhere along the way, you just got so lost in the actual work and forgot to put aside time and effort and energy for you to practice those things on your own time. And for me, being a high performer meant having time and space to do the things that I love doing. And I love doing recreational activities. I would argue that most people do. Most people love to have a good time and just play, but we forget how, and we forget the importance of doing it. So here's what I'd like for you to do today. Make a list of, let's say five. Go for five things that you either used to or are interested in doing. And then looking at your calendar or looking at your day, put in a time for you to do that activity and then start building that more into your everyday life. Make play and recreation and just joy more part of your life. So you've got your homework, make a list of five things that you enjoy doing and then look at your calendar and just put a time and day in where you can go do at least one of those things. Let me know how that went. Let me know what you chose to do and when you actually did it, how it felt. I'd love to hear from you. And remember to like, subscribe, follow me for more. And until next time, take great care. Go have some fun and I'll see you next time.